In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to show you how you can accent a subtitle, make it more readable, by putting a background behind the letters. At first, it looks like you can't do this in Power Director, but there's a workaround we'd love to show you. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers, so let's look at how to deal with this challenge. So I have a video on track number one. What I'm going to do now is go to my subtitle room on the left side. It's the last icon. I can press the F12 key or click on the icon. That will immediately open my subtitle track. Now what I'd like to do now is put in one or more subtitles. So all I need to do is take my time indicator or playhead, move it to the frame where I want the subtitle to start, and I click on the plus key. We have several tutorials on subtitles. I'll give you a link to those. Now, we don't have any text in the title, just a number. We'll add that later. I'll move over to another frame and click the plus again. And that will easily give me a second subtitle. You see they're stacking up in the panel on the left. The easy way to change the duration of a subtitle is simply to click on it. And then I can use the mouse to shorten the duration of the subtitle on the screen. And I can say trim only and now I'll have subtitle 1 and subtitle 2. Let's add some text to them. I'm going to give myself a little more edit room by widening the panel. And I can double click and I can give the first one a title like measure well. And we'll add another one here. And now I have my two subtitles. When I play the video and preview it, this is what I'll see. Nothing. Why? Because I have to activate the track by clicking on it. And now I have the check mark. It will be visible. So here I have my cut straight and my measure well. If I want to change the look of the text in the subtitle, I simply click on the T below the subtitle box and you notice I can change the font, the size, the text, a shadow, and a border, but there's nothing about a background. So what do I do? I'll cancel out of that. The trick is to re realize that even though the subtitle is on the upper track, it actually appears lower as though it was on the lowest track when you actually run the video. So what I can do is I can take a color board and I'll click on the media room area, click down on media content and I'll choose a color board. Let's take something that's white and I'll drag that down on a higher number track, track number two. Now I'll double click or press the F2 key to get into my PIP designer. I'm going to turn off maintain aspect ratio on the scale area and then I'll drag down. And what helps me to position it is to dial back the opacity temporarily. And I don't know how wide my different elements are going to be, so I can make it the full width of the screen if I like, or I can pull it in a little bit from the left and from the right, just depending on how many characters I think my subtitles will have. Now I'll put the opacity back up to at or near 100. And it looks like I'm wiping out the subtitle, but not really. I'll click on OK. So now I see that the color board is actually behind my subtitle. So when I move to play this in PowerDirector, I see I have my first sub subtitle and my second appearing before a color board. So that's a very easy way to make it stand out, to give it a little accent, even though you don't have those controls directly inside the, the subtitle room in CyberLink PowerDirector.